Speaking of complicated, I grew up on Massey Ferguson's and Nuffields when it comes to tractors, but now they are very upmarket. Yeah, well, in the last uh, 10 years, I suppose, we've seen a lot of uh, new tractors come out from the Case IH stable, and um, the new Puma CVT, which we have here, um, is one of the latest and most advanced tractors that we've seen um, come out of Case's factories, so uh, we're very excited about that. I guess one of the areas would be transmission. Yeah, in the Puma range we have two transmission options. We have a full power shift 18 speed transmission and also a Vario transmission. So there's options for every application basically. Can you just expand a wee bit on those? Yeah, well a Vario transmission basically is an automatic transmission. Um, so there's no gear changes as such. You select the operator selects the speed and the tractor uh, determines the engine revs and, um, and, and makes the most efficient revs for the best fuel economy basically. Um, and a power shift is just a button that you push to, for the gears to go up and down, so both pretty pretty uh, simple transmissions to use really. Formula 1 sort of stuff, isn't it, when you push buttons to keep going up gears? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we like to think we're, uh, we're, we're up with the, the latest in technology, so yeah. How does the transmission work with wheel slip, because that's another thing that people want to factor in? Yeah, wheel slip's a big big issue uh, as far as compaction goes to your soil and also losses in, in horsepower and, and, and fuel efficiency. So yeah, there's there's obviously drafting controls on the on the linkage um, controls and wheel slip monitors and things, so you can select a certain amount of wheel slip before the hitches lift up and uh, bits and pieces. So yeah, there's a lot of, of ways of monitoring wheel slip. GPS? All our uh, Puma large wheel based tractors are all GPS ready now, so um, yeah, any tractor can basically, uh, they have a Pro 300 touchscreen monitor which operates your GPS uh, which uh, inside the cab, so yeah, they're all GPS ready, ready to go. There must be some things that I'd recognise from the from the 60s and 70s. Three-point linkage and power takeoff would be about it though. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, the steering wheel's still the same shape, and uh, but yeah, apart from that, there's been a lot of changes. And I guess the efficiencies in farming is driving that. Everyone wants something that's more efficient, and uh, things are getting tougher out there, so. You're talking a lot of computerisation. Is it easy to drive these things? Yeah, they, they take a wee bit of training, I suppose. It's, it's not all um, not all easy, but you know, you know, after a couple of days, most operators will be very familiar with it. And obviously, you've got you've got other gear that comes in behind them as well as it disappears out of you. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a busy time of the year. Good to see the sun out. So horsepower. What about horsepower? The Puma range starts at 125 horsepower and goes through to 225. Um, there's a small wheelbase Puma which is 125, 140, 155, and then the large wheelbase which starts at 165 and goes to 225. So, so who's buying them? What sort of use are they getting? All sorts, really. We're finding um, obviously your large cropping guys um, and also dairy farmers now looking at you know, pretty technical tractors. They want good hydraulic flows and nice, comfortable tractors. They're in them a lot of the time, so. Yeah, what about comfort in the cab? Well, the cab itself has a uh, fully suspended seat. It has a suspended cab. Um, there's also a front axle suspension option, which is uh, on our 50K models, um, which is an option on the 40K as well. So, yeah, the cab's very comfortable. It has a four-post cabin, so very good visibility. Um, and the sound in the cab is industry leading, um, very quiet cab, so. It's come a long way from an open tractor, hasn't it? That's right, you know, things are pretty pretty nice today. It's one of the perk jobs sitting in a tractor. You mentioned 50Ks, is, is that what they'll do? Yeah, 50Ks, uh, you have to have front suspension to, uh, to do 50Ks. It's one of the laws, so yeah, no, they, they do. And obviously it's four wheel drive. Yeah, all tractors today are four-wheel drive. You can get two-wheel drive options, but four-wheel drive is a, a fast period option as far as um, traction to the ground and also flotation. One of the old sayings was that you, you paid $1,000 for every horsepower that you got. What, what, what is the pricing? Well, it does. there's a lot of spec options as far as Puma goes and as far as any case tractor goes, but uh, yeah, if you're based on 1,000 of horsepower, that, there is a lot of options. You could get over 1,000 if you spec everything on the tractor. And of course then the biggest problem you're going to have is you getting access to it as a farmer rather than the boy doing it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's normally a few fights over driving these modern tractors. Someone will end up with the, uh, the old 684 or something like that. 